I'm Teresa from Creativity Lane. I'm in a 16 year old girl's room today and I'm going to show you how to decorate and style and organize a space and really pull it together without changing much. Small budget, I'm not going to lose her personality in it, we're going to keep all the teenager stuff, but just structure it so it looks fabulous. As you all know, teenagers spend a lot of time on their beds and I think Grace would really love a headboard to sit against and make it really comfortable and really pretty. Um, at the same time, when we do a headboard, you zone the area. I don't want to see the study desk the moment I come through the door. I want to see this beautiful couch. So I'm going to show you how to make a headboard really easy, minimal cost and it's going to look fabulous. So Grace, you've given me a few notes the other day on what you want this room to be what what is it that you want to have out of this room when we're done with it as i grow older i kind of want a space where i can grow with it where it can be clean and a place i can study as well as a place to relax and have beautiful things around me So we've been out shopping. I found some awesome buys at your local Kmart, would you believe? <laughs> Nothing for more than 20 bucks. Um, we're going to put some pictures on the wall, cushions on the bed. I'm going to do that headboard that I made and style it. Okay, so for you to install your headboard, um, you put your headboard onto your mattress, that would be the easiest way, um, so that you can see where you're going to screw your little plank on. I just use ordinary um, uh, moulding covered in paint, or you can paint your own one, you can use pine, it doesn't matter. Pre-drill your holes, and for your everyday bed, that is a base that's covered in fabric. They have a strip of wood running across on the inside, at the top as well as on the bottom. Just find where that piece of wood is, mark it on your piece of plank, um, and that's where you're going to screw it in. I pre-drill my holes so that it's easier to navigate the screws, and just use an ordinary chipboard screw to screw it in. So the idea is that this will um, be your support. If you don't have a base set that you can use to screw your supports in, you can screw this in on your headboard and then on this side screw it into the wall and then it'll be like a, a piece of art on your wall and you can just move your bed closer to the headboard. Okay, so this is the day bed, remember, we're going to make the corner now and join them up. What I normally use, just an ordinary L bracket, 
and find them in any hardware store and put them on the side. Now you'll notice that I move it over just a smidge. You don't go right in the corner because you've got to allow for the foam and the other board to come in. And because the board's already 9mm thick plus your foam, you'll have to compensate for that. So you're going to position it there, move it over about that, um, and then screw it in there. And then you'll be moving that headboard in to that little corner and then screw that one on. Last bit of the puzzle going in. Oh, I just loved how this room looks and I had a blast doing it. Do you want to check out the headboard, the day bed? So remember this corner was just the bed on itself, desk behind, and when you walked into the room you could see all of that nonsense on the desk. Putting a corner headboard in like that creates a little nook, place to rest against, zones it off, separates the study area from the sleeping area. And I think this little corner with the lights, it's so cozy, she's going to spend hours on YouTube in this little space. So if you want to see how I've done this headboard, I will link in the description a tutorial that you can follow along. It's really not that hard. Um, and it's, it's, it's made just an impact in this little corner. we've come to the end of our little makeover I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did I, I just love doing it and then she loves her room I hope you found some inspiration to go to your local department store and find inexpensive treasures to make over your own room and just give it that little bit of an extra touch it doesn't have to be expensive thanks for joining me comment below what you found inspirational and share what you're going to do in your room next thanks for watching